Talk Shop. Angielski w biznesie. Odcinek 140. How to stop procrastinating. Jak przestać odkładać na później? I gotta stop procrastinating. Hi there. It's Carolina from ASAP Speak and Play. Czy masz taką jedną rzecz, którą zawsze odkładasz na później? Jak przygotowanie dokumentacji czy nawet naukę angielskiego? To zjawisko nazywa się po angielsku procrastination. Pro what? Procrastination. In today's episode, you're going to find out why we procrastinate learning and what we can do about it. Additionally, we will practice four words connected to this topic. Are you ready? So, let's have a look at different forms of the word procrastination. Mark is a procrastination master. Marek jest mistrzem odkładania na później. So, Mark procrastinates all of the unimportant issues. Marek odkłada na później mniej istotne rzeczy. Mark is a procrastinator. Marek jest odkładaczem na później. Albo prokrastynatorem. Well, I didn't find a better translation for this one. Okay, let's practice this word first. And then I will explain why we procrastinate. You will hear four examples. Listen and repeat. Ciągle zwlekamy. We keep procrastinating. We keep procrastinating. We keep procrastinating. Raperzy to prokrastynatorzy. Rappers are procrastinators. Rappers are procrastinators. Rappers are procrastinators. To mnie nauczy zwlekać. That'll teach me to procrastinate. That'll teach me to procrastinate. That'll teach me to procrastinate. Muszę przestać zwlekać. I gotta stop procrastinating. I gotta stop procrastinating. I gotta stop procrastinating. So, why do we procrastinate learning English? There are so many reasons. Let me give you four. First of all, sometimes tasks seem too big or difficult, and our brain goes, Woohoo, this looks hard. It's easier to do something else than to tackle a big, scary task. Jest łatwiej zrobić coś innego niż radzić sobie z dużym, strasznym zadaniem. Tackle a big, scary task. Like language learning. Then there's motivation. If we're not excited about something, our brain is like a lazy cat. It just doesn't want to move. Think about your English learning. Are you waiting for the motivation to come? Or do you just learn? Also, it's more difficult to do something when you don't know what to do, if it's not planned and organized. Lastly, we're often afraid of not doing a task perfectly. And we're afraid of making mistakes. If we're worried about not being perfect, sometimes it feels safer not to start at all. Now, let's move to another word, which is... I always put off paying my bills. To put something off means to procrastinate, but also to change the date of an event in the calendar. For example, we need to put off our meeting. Musimy odłożyć nasze spotkanie. 
but we can also say, I'm not a fan of paperwork. I always put it off till the last minute. Nie jestem fanką papierkowej roboty. Zawsze odkładam ją na ostatnią chwilę. Now, you will hear three examples. Listen and repeat. Nie, nie chcę tego odkładać. No, I don't want to put it off. No, I don't want to put it off. No, I don't want to put it off. Ciągle to odkładaliśmy. We kept putting it off. We kept putting it off. We kept putting it off. Mam milion rzeczy, które odkładam. I've got a million things I've been putting off. I've got a million things I've been putting off. I've got a million things I've been putting off. Finally, two last enemies of regular work. Distractions and excuses. Distraction, czyli rozpraszacz, odwracacz uwagi. Distract jest powiązane ze słowem attract. Attract to przyciągać, na przykład uwagę. Distract, rozpraszać. Some people don't like to work from the office anymore because there is a lot of distractions. People coming in and out asking questions. On the other hand, parents working from home during the pandemic also complained that kids were too much of a distraction and they couldn't focus on their work. But maybe this is only an excuse to avoid something. Excuse, czyli wymówka, jak w excuse me. So, the last set. You will hear six examples. Listen and repeat. Bez wymówek. No excuses! No excuses. No excuses. Nie chcę już szukać wymówek. I don't want to make excuses no more. I don't want to make excuses no more. I don't want to make excuses no more. Nie chcę już słyszeć od nikogo żadnych wymówek. I don't want to hear any more excuses from anyone. I don't want to hear any more excuses from anyone. I don't want to hear any more excuses from anyone. Za bardzo odwracacie uwagę. You guys are too much of a distraction. I'm gonna... You guys are too much of a distraction. You guys are too much of a distraction. I'm gonna... Wyglądasz na rozkojarzonego. You seem distracted. You seem distracted. You seem distracted. Naprawiam radio. Przestań mnie rozpraszać. I am fixing the radio. Stop distracting me. I am fixing the radio. Stop distracting me. I am fixing the radio. Stop distracting me. Good job. Now, translate the following. Przestań mi przeszkadzać. Stop distracting me. To tylko wymówka. It's just an excuse. Nie odkładaj tego. Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate. Tylko czasami odkładam rzeczy na później.
I only procrastinate sometimes. Sometimes I put things off, but not always. Good job! So, how to fight procrastination in learning English? Start with a small goal, an activity to do for 5 or 10 minutes a day. Make it interesting. Choose things you like. Plan when you want to do this short session. When is your best time to learn a language? Set a reminder and stay positive. You have everything you need to learn English. Good luck and till the next time. Cheers!